iRock Radio, the world headquarters of rock. It is Mike Caroli with Mike Mushak of Santa Sonia and Stain. How are you? Good. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. From the couch. See, it's very this is it. intimate setting here for us. How convenient is that my kids go to school on a mile from here and I can just swing by whatever I want and do <laughs> yeah. these interviews. I come in and there he is sitting on the couch. I'm like, hey, what are you doing here? I got a show coming up, dude. We need to promote this. Can you help me out? Well, it's going to be a great show. Yeah. It's the Acoustic All-Star Jam. It's at Foxwoods, the Grand Theater at Foxwoods. And uh, it's on Thursday the 10th. Tickets available at foxwoods.com. And it's for a good cause as well. So it's a great show. Tell us a little bit about the Reach Foundation and what that's all about. Um, you know, actually, it's, it's run by my neighbor, actually. Mark and Wendy Wilson started the Reach Foundation a bunch of years back. And uh, their main goal is just to help uh, underprivileged children. And... Uh, this benefit that we're doing is one of their programs called Shop with a Cop, which is uh, done in towns throughout Connecticut, where um, the money raised goes to the, the police force and they, they choose a needy family in town and they take the child and they, they have dinner and they sit down and they discuss the needs of the family for the holidays. And then they take them shopping and they fulfill their wishes um, to help them out. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So proceeds from the show will go to the Reach Foundation and, and situations just like that, which is pretty awesome. And it's an amazing show. So tell us about the, the lineup you have, the guys you're going to be playing with at the Grand Theater in Foxwoods. So it's an acoustic show. Yeah, all the acoustic, acoustic, all acoustic, acoustic show. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So who do you got on the show with you? Um, you know, I, Sean Morgan from Seether's coming mm -hmm. in. Um, Adam, the singer for Santa Sonia. Um, Corey Lowry is also the bass player for Santa Sonia and uh, Sal the the drummer from Stained mm -hmm. so we get together and uh, in fact I should be home learning some of these songs now as the <laughs> set list continues to grow and uh, well how many songs do you think you're going to be doing over the course of the night I don't know we have we have a bunch because um, we did do this show once before um and uh, that wasn't for the public. This is for the public. That right. was kind of a private thing that we did. I was there. You were there, yeah. So you know how cool, I mean, it was really cool. It though, really right? is cool. It was, I mean, it's just different. Yeah, I didn't know what to expect when I got there, and it was kind of surreal, because it was like a, a TV set, you know? You yeah. had, it all, like, I don't know, it was like something you'd see on MTV as far as the setting. So I'm taking all that in. Then I realized, ah, oh, there's Sean Morgan of Seether, and there's, you know, all these guys, and you got, you sat down, and you... You ran through a list of songs that one after another not only sounded amazing, but I was some of the choices I was like, wow, that's really cool. Like you did a Prince song, for an example. And right. I think you did a U2 song. Yeah. And, you know, Alice in Chains and Nirvana and a lot of cool covers. So how are you going to decide what songs to do? on the 10th we've kind of been sending you know emails and set lists back and forth and uh so i mean there'll be a bunch of the songs that we did that night because i mean again you know we we've done sure. them you know so uh but there's some new songs also that have been added so it's really kind of everybody kind of chooses some of their favorite cover songs and songs from each other's bands that we like now if i yell out a song are you gonna do it if i know it i mean maybe we can i you yeah. know what i mean uh, what if somebody goes free bird yeah. <laughs> no don't do it's, that it's it's always yelled out though isn't it yeah, yeah i guess so um so i mean it's it's really it's it's really a cool thing though i think i mean to me it's it's taking a couple of you know some of the best singers in rock i mean sean and adam i think are great you mm -hmm. know and uh and putting those two together and uh in this kind of unique, one of a kind, intimate atmosphere. Which you also is have Otan Vargas opening the show too, right? Yeah, exactly. We do. Um, he's another uh, local guy that's really talented. That yep. it's going to do it. Uh, that's going to be playing also. That's awesome. So he'll he'll set the stage, so to speak. He'll open it up. Then you guys come out and do your thing. And about how long do you think the show will will run? Seven or eight hours. I'm yeah, thinking. well, bring that's a, good. Bring a that's pillow good. and a blanket. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you know it. It probably, I don't know, hour and a half maybe. Yeah. You know, something like that. Was it tough getting all the guys together from parts it, unknown, wherever they're all from it, it, and living is. these days? It is. I mean, uh, trying to lock down a date where everybody's available is, um, you know, see there's making a record, we're making a record. So, I mean, we're kind of, you know. Yeah, juggling it all. Yeah. So, yeah. but uh, but I'm glad that it worked out because yeah. uh, it was a lot of fun when we did it last time. Out of the other band's songs, like obviously you're in St. Sonia, you're in Stained. So those bands aside, out of, you know, Seether or any of the, the songs you cover, which one do you look forward to playing the most? Which one do you have the most fun playing? 
Oh God! I, you know it was weird. I mean, you mentioned the Prince song. That actually ended up being a lot of fun when we mm-hmm. did that. You know. Yep. Um, and you did your version of "I Don't Care Anymore" as well. The we Saint did do that. Version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did that. Was fun too. I mean, Adam, Adam really, uh, you know, really shines on that one. What does sure. Sean kind of like lean towards, like as far as his favorite things to cover or sing? Sure. Um, you know, I mean, listen, obviously his voice lends very well to Nirvana stuff. Right. You yeah. know what I mean? I mean, mm-hmm. that sounds, mm-hmm. I mean, you close your eyes and it's, you know, <laughs> mm-hmm. it's, it sounds like, you know, Kurt there. And uh, I mean, yeah, that Pearl, Pearl Jam song we did, I mean, it sounded amazing. Yeah. He's great. I mean, it was just, uh, like I said, between the two of those guys together, mm-hmm. it was, uh, I was, I was impressed. You know what I mean? And you know what, for me is just sitting there as a spectator watching it all, what was the most fun for me was that. It seemed like you guys were genuinely enjoying your time together. Yeah. Like, I mean, you can go see a show, and you know bands are into it because they, they love the music, they wrote these songs, and they're getting feeding off the audience. But just watching you guys, you all seem to enjoy playing with each other and feeding off of each other. Was that No, it was accurate? totally true. I mean, that was the one thing that really struck me at the end of it was, I mean, Sean, you know, Sean said, and I, I've said this before, you know, he, but he's like, I haven't had that much fun playing music in years. That's cool. You know what I mean? And so, I mean, it was just... Uh, because it was really just friends getting together and jamming, really. Yeah. That's what it was. So the Acoustic All-Star Jam, Thursday the 10th at Foxwoods at the Grand Theater. Get tickets at foxwoods.com. Benefits the Reach Foundation. Aside from all that, I mean, you got a lot going on. You got the guitar line, K. Michael Clark guitars. So you got that, but you're working on a St. Sonia album. What else is going on? I mean, obviously, you've got Sean is working on the See the Record. and Sure. How are you juggling all of this, and what's the what is the timetable i guess going forward what's the plan well, that's a good question i mean you know we're working on some some demos now for the label with santa sonian songs are going back and forth and uh i think we're pretty close to getting that you know locked in and, and getting those recorded and you know hopefully just starting the record there mm-hmm. um you know you mentioned the shop we had to move locations we actually just found a new location we're we're moving there in the next couple of weeks so we'll get that back up and mm-hmm. running which will be good um you know, we've been doing that. What really started this? We've been doing this virtual reality filming of of, of uh, different musical events. Mm-hmm. Working with this production company, working on that. So uh, we have an idea for another um, kind of series that we're going to do uh, that we're going to try and film in December. So, mm-hmm. you know, when you're writing songs, do you write songs with Saint Sonia in mind? Like this is going to be a Saint Sonia song, or are you writing songs for? what we hope is the eventual reunion of stained and the next album or whatever. Do you write songs specific for the band or are you just writing songs that you, I just write write? songs. And if it's music that I like, I'll play it, you know, like I'll play it for Adam, especially if I think it's something that he'll sound good over, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So really for me, it's about, you know, my practicing is really just sitting down and trying to come up with cool riffs or Mm -hmm. cool ideas Mm -hmm. and catalog them. So when it comes time like this, we can kind of go through them and see what fits best and what's going to make the best record. So looking ahead to 2017, Mike Mushak will be doing. Well, we'll be recording the record. I mean, you know, I think we were trying to hope to get it done this year, but uh, I'm not sure that's going to happen. It's probably going to go into next year. You're running out of time. Yeah, we're running out of (laughs) exactly at this point. Uh, So I'll probably go into next year. You know, we'll probably release the record and, and, you know, help support that. Mm -hmm. You know, continue with, uh, you know, uh, building guitars and, you know, just kind (laughs) of move forward. Well, in the meantime, go check out the Acoustic All-Star Jam Thursday the 10th at Foxwoods, the Grand Theater. Tickets at foxwoods.com. Benefits the Reach Foundation, and it really is a -a one-of-a-kind, very unique show. And who knows? I mean, with everybody's schedule, who knows if it'll happen again? This may be the time. Yeah, there's no plans of it it happening again. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's really kind of why we thought it was for a great cause, um, you know, help uh, these, you know, needy children in in our state. And uh, hopefully a great show for everybody to enjoy. For sure. To help do that. Thanks for uh, hanging on the couch. Thanks for being here. Whatever we call it. <laughs> we'll see you at the show. I Rock Radio, the world headquarters of rock.